Well, here we are once again in our Colorado Mountain Lab, and we are uh, getting ready to uh, demonstrate a, uh, another B&K 1805. This would be Unit 5 of my collection. The unit is in very fine shape. The stand is a one whole piece. The case is clean. There are few indications of usage, if any. The switches have all been cleaned and lubricated. The unit's been calibrated. A, um, a new uh, standard modern socket uh, utilizing three-prong uh, standard cord has been installed on the unit. The um, serial number of this unit is A0-03009 for reference. B&K uh, 1805 is a um, rated as a 2 hertz through an 80 megahertz counter and we'll take it through a test on that and show that it actually exceeds that in a few minutes. It uh, provides kilohertz and megahertz ranges, has a uh, period button, a totalizer button, counts pulses, has four ranges of resolution ranging from uh, uh, 0.1 hertz to 100 hertz, um, we, uh, we have a reset button, a uh, data hold button, a low pass filter button, and a two step attenuator. There are indications for overflow, and whether or not we're in megahertz, kilohertz, or reading microseconds. There's a moving dot on the side for that. It's a handy unit, it has a um, large, fairly bright um, uh, LED readouts. Unfortunately, the color uh, and uh, possibly the frequency uh, that it's pulsed makes it not too sensitive for my, uh, my camera. So I have to dim the lights in order for us to be able to readily see the, uh, the LEDs. But if you take it from my, uh, my verbal, it's, uh, it's quite readable in, in bright light, which we're in our bright, brightly lit room right now. The, uh, case on all sides. It's in good shape. And see if we can get the underside here without dropping it. This would be the calibration hole on the underside. And we'll start running it through its tests here in a moment. I'll dim the lights and put on the, uh, uh, the bench lamp. Bear with me. Okay, as we can see right at the moment, we are reading 10 megahertz uh, right to the hertz. Actually, to beyond the hertz. And um, that's calibrated using a rubidium standard, so we, uh, we know that we're relatively accurate. I'm actually measuring this 10 megahertz from the kilohertz range, frequency range, and in, uh, in the one second interval on the resolution scale. Technically, according to the manual, you can't do this, but I've noticed that on most of my units I can. And at least on one or two I found I couldn't, so in this case we were able to do it and it does give us a faster refresh time and, uh, and uh, gives us the full 10 megahertz right down to the hertz. Let's go ahead and start changing the frequency. We'll, we'll test it. Oops. Yeah, we move this up to a uh, spot a little bit closer to our PT-160. This is the, or 500, excuse me, this is the PT-500. And then the HP-3320 for the low frequency. All right, we are at 10 megahertz now. We're gonna to go to 
20, but we're going to go to the megahertz scale. Okay. 10, and here's 20. 30. 40. 50. 60. 70. 80. 90. All right, let's go 99. That doesn't look so good. We'll go 98. Coming back up, 97. Ninety-six. Ninety-five. Okay, and I would say looking at this that 94 megahertz is our upper end limit. 92 should be solid. I'm uh, 93, excuse me. All right, so we're good up through at least 93 megahertz which would be 13 megahertz higher than the 80 that it's uh, um, specifications tout. Well, let's go on the lower end. Uh, let's take a look at um, one megahertz. take our resolution up now. Here would be uh, 900 kilohertz. 800. 700. 600. 500. 400. 300. It's about the limit for the PTS 500. We're going to switch to the HP 3320. And we're going to start at 20 We'll start at 20 kilohertz. Switch to the kilohertz range. All right, 20 kilohertz. Let's go 10. Let's go 9. 8. Let's do 5. 900 Hertz eight hundred five hundred three hundred sorry one hundred and then let's go ninety Take ourselves down to 50, to 10, there'd be 9, 8, 7, 5, 3, Two, one. Okay, so we don't get a response on one. We do have a response on two. So we're good from two hertz up through, I think it was 93 megahertz. 
So we've beat the specifications on the high end and we met the specifications on the low. Since we're at two hertz, let's go ahead and test the period. Okay, period of two hertz is about 500,000 uh, microseconds. Let's go to five. We should see 200,000. Let's go to ten hertz, and we are running uh, about a hundred thousand microseconds. Um, hundred hertz, about ten thousand microseconds. Let's go ahead and take her up to the top end. There's one megahertz. I think we can uh, get a little better resolution here. There's one megahertz. We're getting one microsecond. One microsecond, one megahertz makes sense. And here's two. There's 0 0.5, 3, 0.33, 4 is 0.25 microseconds. 5. 0.2 would be right. Uh, we're still getting something at 6, but I'd say 5 is probably the limit looking at it. We could take ourselves down one, give ourselves just a little bit more resolution there. There's 5 again. There's 6. 1.66 would be right. 7. 8. We're not getting it at 10, so... We've already beat our uh, our two megas, megahertz limit for the period. We uh, essentially went three times that much, uh, up to six. So we did great on the period, and uh, we read, read it down to two um, two hertz, and the period was five hundred thousand. That's the low end. So we did good on that. Uh, let's go ahead and put ourselves back down at a slow rate because it's easier to see things happening here. Here's two hertz. I'm going to go on the totalizer, and we should see the totalizer counting up the events. You can use the count pulses coming on a, um, you know, periodically through a circuit. Um, could be an event timer for anything, really. Your imagination would be the, the rule. If I was to hold it, I can hold the, the count on the display, and when I release it, we're going to go from where we are already at counting-wise. It's still counting in the background. All right. So we've demonstrated all of the functions. Let's go ahead and uh, close out. And as is usual, um, I will be providing a manual uh, with this being K1805. The, it's a comprehensive manual. It uh, both instruction and uh, maintenance. Uh, we have all the operating instructions on all the functions. We have maintenance and calibration on the unit. And then at the end we have uh, circuit diagrams and parts. So covers everything. Some parts lists and diagrams. So you'll have a complete package. And uh, wish you well. Thank you for listening and happy bidding.